Hello, my name is Ira. Welcome to Instructoids, five minute videos that seek to unlock the mysteries inside your computer. Today we're going to talk about RAM. When a computer starts a program, such as a word processor, that program is read from the hard disk and put into RAM, so that it can be quickly and efficiently accessed and modified. It's like pulling a file from a filing cabinet and spreading it out on the table. RAM stands for Random Access Memory, so named because of its method of data access. Whereas the hard disk drive puts data in a physical location on the disk and must access that location to retrieve it, RAM stores it regardless of physical location, allowing it to access it randomly. The beauty of this concept is that RAM can access all of its information at the same speed, while a hard drive takes longer to retrieve a fragmented file than a file saved in one space. The capacity of a RAM module is usually measured in gigabytes. Its speed is measured in megahertz, and its throughput, how much data it can transfer at once, is measured in megabytes per second. Most RAM can also utilize more than one channel of data transfer, further increasing its speed. The number of channels is designated by DDR, DDR2, or DDR3. Altogether, the label for a RAM chip looks like this. These values serve to categorize and standardize RAM chips between manufacturers. Now that we know what RAM is, we're ready to do some upgrading, but we'll leave that for next time. Thanks for watching Instructoids.